Hi, I'm Lorna Rasmussen and I'm talking to you from my office here in Costa Rica. We've been talking about six deadly sins that you might be committing that could be killing your business. And I want to go to the second deadly sin. And that is that you do not have enough prospects for your business. You have talked to your acquaintances, you've talked to your friends, you've talked to your family, maybe. <laughs> Some people won't even do that. But let's say you have, and now you're at a point where you need more prospects. You need people who know, like, and trust you. In other words, what I'm saying is you cannot hide out in your home and have a business that is successful. You need to learn how to get out into the world and meet people. And it's only through meeting people that you're going to be able to build your business, develop the, the relationships with people that will help you to be successful in your business. And that sin, if you are committing it, if you are going, oh boy, I don't know who to talk to. I haven't got anybody to talk to. It's again, it's simply, um, I mentioned this in our first video, sales is just a matter of some skills and some training. So I'm going to give you a couple of ideas uh, that really helped me when I got started. I had been in an industry that was very uh, finite. There weren't a lot of people who needed our services. Our services were expensive. And so we had um, a focus on, on a particular linear market. And that is not a bad idea for everybody. And so the first thing I recommend to people is think about who you know naturally. Who do you interact with? Who are you uh, friends with? Who are you engaged with? What is it that you do either socially or athletically um, to the hobbies and whatnot that put you in touch with people? I'm not suggesting that those people necessarily are your prospects, but they may be a link to your prospects. Once you've made a list and kind of de determined that you're going to work in this vertical market, and I'll tell you that when I first went into sales, I picked two vertical markets. I picked insurance. I was selling a, a, a sales training service or a, ser a service for, for personal development. So I picked insurance and I picked real estate. And the reason I picked those two is those are people that were in control of their income. So who is it that needs your products or services? And is there a way to mesh the people that you know, the people that um, are people that you naturally know and can lead you to your prospects with what your product or service offers and that people are looking for. So once you've decided on I would recommend at least two, two markets, then what you want to ask yourself is where do I find those people? Now, here's the beauty of uh, North America. <laughs> if two people like to do something, they get together and form a club. So there's lots of ways to find those people. They meet together, they go to certain activities together, they are, engage with one another. And so it's really um, a pretty easy once you've determined I want to meet these people to find a place where they meet. For instance, when I decided I wanted to meet realtors and I like working with women, so I joined the Women in Real Estate organization in town and that put me in constant contact with those people and I found a, a really great source of, of prospects because it was a, a, an environment where we could meet. So think about who you want to meet and then where those people are and get out there and meet those people because that's how you're going to build your business. And next time we'll talk about the third deadly sin that's connected to the second one.